All right, colors are done. So now we're going to start the fun part. We will start to add some shadows and uh, bring some life to this character. So I'm going to create another layer on top of the colors. Gonna call it uh, Shadow One. Okay. And I will set it as a multiply layer. And uh, now I'm gonna create a clipping mask like this. So um, if you don't know what a clipping mask is, uh, if you create a, cre a clipping mask over a, uh, over a layer, uh, that will allow you to paint only on the sorry something wrong i selected something so that means uh, i said um, this will allow you to paint only on the pixels of the layer under the mask which is really useful when you have to paint a character like this because i don't i don't paint on the background and you'll see that i use that uh, i use that all the time it's very useful if you know Photoshop, you already know that. Okay. Um, so for the shadows, uh, I usually use um, this kind of light purple color. Uh, since the, usually the atmosphere is a little bit bluish, uh, it brings a kind of a nice tone to the, to, to the shadow things. But anyway, the layer, the layer colors, we will probably adjust it later. That's... Uh, that's just the basic, uh, the basic color for, for work. I suggest don't use black because black gives that kind of um, um, like a gray, gray feeling to all, all the shadows. It's, uh, it's not the best choice, to be honest. So this, this is what I use. And uh, for me, that's, uh, that's perfect for now. Okay, let's go. So uh, I will go back to my color layer and just select the skin skin part well there's a lot of stuff around but never mind and once you've done the selection you can do control h this will hide at the selection i pushed the wrong one sorry let's get back to it yeah perfect it's still selected and now we can go so let me see if the tone is right it's a little bit dark to me, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of my shadow layer. Uh, okay, let's go with the 75. <clears throat> okay, now we can start. So before you start, you need to make sure where where is your light source. So in this case, I will place the light source on the top left corner like this just like it's the sun let's say it's a it's a sunny day so now you you need to think of uh, to imagine your character as a 3d character to really s uh, imagine where where your, your sh the, the the shadows and the light will be positioned around this place so since the light is coming from here that means the bottom of the nose will be in the shadow and as I told you at the beginning of this video um, I'm trying to give an anime feeling to to this illustration uh, that's why my shadows here will be very sharp it's it's a, a little bit different from the, the the pictures I've done before for the game but I think the result might be interesting I haven't done that, that style for a while, so uh, it's fun to get back to the to the roots. Okay, so all this part is in the shadow. I'm going very rough at the beginning just to place the just to place the dark area dark areas and then I will refine this later the neck
try to give some angles like this. I think it's uh, looks pretty nice to uh, for this kind of style. Let's finish the nose. Take some distance a little bit to see how it looks. Okay, I think the shadow should come a bit further here. Let's put more shadow. I'm going to lighten some areas later. So here, as you can see, I'm using the basic Photoshop brushes. Really nothing fancy. Just, uh, just normal lines and that's, uh, that fits for now. That does the job. I'm not really satisfied with what I've just done, but that's okay. I'm gonna modify that later. This part should be in the shadow as well covered by his dreads. more here. Let's do it differently. Put shadows everywhere and I will lighten some part. Okay, I think a little bit of light here will be nice. Okay, don't like this little shape here.
Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, that will do the job for now. I'll probably get back to it later. But for now, let's say... Let's say it's fine. Good. It's not that bad. Alright, so... Now you just have to repeat this on the, the entire character. Place the first shadows like that. Yep, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this, uh, the whole character. And uh, I'm gonna speed up the video again and uh, see you uh, when, when it's done.
Okay. So the first shadows are done. Slowly getting there. Looks pretty good. So now we're gonna add another shadow layer. So it's exactly the same uh, thing as before. Create a new layer. Multiply. Create a clipping mask. Just gonna rename my layer. Uh, shadow 2. And I will set it at 75%. Same as before. And now this time I'm gonna darken some small places. So um, now I'm gonna work. I, I think I'm on, I'm gonna stay in um, in the in the shadow area. I'm, I will just darken some parts that need more um, uh, that needs uh, more more volume. Like for example, I continue with the face just as before. So I will select the skin part and then here we go so for example yes here under the chin a bit more shadow so this step is much faster because there's not so much things to to do and Actually, you could even leave it like this if you want. Uh, that really depends what you do. But now I want I want to do something uh, pretty detailed. So I want to add another shadow layer. Two is two is enough for this kind of picture. Two is perfect. I think. So just add a bit around there. Now you need to think which part of the of the character will be the darkest. Like you see here the inside inside the eyes. Here right under the nose. Needs a bit more shadow there. Also here the wrinkles. Not too much. And you see, it really makes a difference, I think, to add this second second shadow layer. <coughs> Here also. Like that. Just a few touches. Don't, don't put too much, I think. It's no use for now. And the lips. Okay. Ah, uh, here also. He's angry. Not angry. Just more like serious face. Like that. Bit there. Right under the hair. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. I would add a little bit here too. And maybe the chin. <laughs> yep. It's being nice. Also here, inside the ears. Yeah, I'm gonna add a bit more here for the, the hair shadows as well. These parts are definitely dark. Mm. 
need more. Let's make it all dark. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. Necklace. So here. Okay, here right under the muscle. This will add a nice touch, I guess. Here too. That's nice. Yeah, definitely bring something more. Let's continue with his arm. more okay here also so this step is uh, a bit like making shadows inside the shadow because you see I, 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 I never go to this part I, I always stay inside the, the shadows I just made in the, during the previous step okay Okay, not bad. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, good. So you just have to do this everywhere. And then uh, we will go to the, to the next step. Thank you. 